Welcome Capricorn to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 12th of February for the Sun or the Ascendant. Whatever you desire this week Capricorn, it's going to be extremely hard to resist it. Now it could be in the guise of someone that you're really wanting to get much more up close and personal with and maybe you're going to have that date through Valentine's Day. But of course Valentine's Day has a lot of connotations of commercialism and if you're not in a relationship or the relationship you're in it's a bit more practical and you know you don't necessarily need to have some big show of the connection you have because it's pretty well solid there all the time. So where will that desire come in? Well if you are someone who is quite attuned to sensuality and intimacy, Mars connecting with Pluto on Wednesday exactly Mars arrives in your second house on Tuesday it's going to surprise you by just uh, how much it can see you yearning for something now whether you're someone like me who's got absolutely no self-discipline when it comes to chocolate or it is other calorific goodies or it is to do with wanting to improve your finances or it is someone who really is giving you a, a little bit of a heart flutter when you see them because you find them so attractive certainly whatever that desire is it's going to be really revved up to the point of lust there's a combination there in Mars and Pluto that's not been in the sign of Aquarius for 220 years now Wednesday does see a great link between Venus in your sign and Neptune if there is someone you do want to spoil this is, is lovely because your uh, imagination but also sensitivity to what they like or the way you dress it's a very uh, a very coquettish link between those two and it can be super romantic Friday however I'm really excited to tell you about this because Venus leaves your sign and moves into Aquarius where it's going to be uh, for the next 21 days but it applies to Pluto this, like Mars applying to Pluto, has not happened for 220 years in this sign, but for you this is your second house. If finances have been a little bit stuck, you know, we've all experienced headwinds with the cost of living increases and so forth, not been easy. So Venus applying to Pluto suggests a lot of the hard work you've been investing, perhaps over many years, in terms of developing a, a hobby, an interest, Perhaps it's to do with a an, an more entrepreneurial streak. Perhaps it's to do with managing your personal resources. Perhaps it's just to do with how you feel about you. But you can feel so much more enriched on Friday with Venus's combination to Pluto. But it's important if you are attracted to someone that you don't let what they earn get too much into your thinking. Still be guided by how it feels rather than the material world but almost metronomically when Venus moves into the second house in terms of its sun or solar journey it will bring an improvement in resources so fingers crossed for that for you for sure now of course because the second house can be to do with the things that we're drawn towards you may decide to splash out on something that you could find to be totally irresistible but if there is somebody you're finding to be totally irresistible the quarter moon which occurs on friday just encourages you not to spoil them too much not yet and this is a little bit of the of a flavor and an echo of last week's energy when uranus squared up to the new moon and jupiter squared up to mercury we can spoil people, but it can in some ways obscure what the real uh, dynamics are that are developing between us. So if you're really drawn to someone and it is very sensuous, you know, you really fancy them and, and wanting to get up close and personal, giving them a nice massage would be something that would be a nice thing to do. Of course, you could give them a lovely gift. Maybe you're going to give someone some flowers this week or someone will give you some flowers. But it's important not to use money as a weapon or view other people standing based on where they are at that particular time in terms of their value to you. 
that more material way of thinking is not really welcomed by the sign of Aquarius, which wants you to see the big picture and value them in a more holistic way. But your personal finances can pick up, and if it is because uh, of a, a lot of effort that you've been putting in, perhaps for a very long time, then that's absolutely thrilling. Thank you so much for watching this sun sign forecast. If you'd like to ascend above this and embrace the power of more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place, or date and place, I'll produce for you your life roadmap report. This will give you searing insights to the patterns that have played out in your life so far, and a much more intimate understanding of how you can work with those energies to your advantage. Also, within my special package of 30% off, you'll get your 12-month transit forecast, which interacts with your unique natal birth map, totally individual to you. And you can also get 30% off and your free zodiac, Chinese, Indian, and love forecast for year 2024. Please see the link below.